How's it going guys? It's Rockman Luigi and welcome to my other side playthrough, which is going to be another 3DS game right here, Super Mario 3D Land. I did another straw poll on Twitter and this won by a few votes, yeah. I've been doing a lot of uh, straw polls on Twitter lately because um, if you don't really know about me, when it comes to YouTube and stuff like that, I'm very, very bad at um, making decisions. So... <laughs> Yeah, so that's why I've been doing a lot of straw polls lately, so just you guys can decide. I always have, like, a f multiple ideas in my head, and I can't always- I can't, like, choose one specifically. So that's why I've been doing a uh, straw polls lately in this- this one. So, uh, as you can see, though, there is no layout. I'm just gonna be doing a top screen for this, because I just really can't- you know what? Hold on, there's a cutscene. Let me just- And we're off! Looks like Peach got kidnapped again, and Mario is really in a hurry right now. Let's uh, jump into World 1-1. But uh, like I was saying, this doesn't have a layout because the people who uh, make my layouts and stuff, and the majority of my GFX, um, lately I've had to, I've had to pay for it. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, if, if I can afford it, then I'll, I'll pay for it. You know, that's not that big of a deal. But the thing is, I've I'm wanting to save up for a. Uh, What's it called? A Pertamonium icon. If you don't know who Pertamonium is, uh, really, really good artist who makes a lot of YouTubers icons like, uh, PK Sparks, Hoodlum Scrafty, uh, Num Nexus, Heated Moe's, uh, Twitter icon is, uh, made by Pertamonium. You know, Pertamonium is known for making a lot of, uh, big YouTubers icons, so... I wanted to save up for that, and that's like 90 bucks, and I'm also, um, helping my friend buy a, uh, a game that we're gonna do a four-way co-op with, with me, him, and, uh, me, him, and two other friends. And he's the only one of the, one of us who doesn't have a, doesn't have that game, so I wanted to, uh, help him, help him buy it. So that's why I've been saving up. I only have maybe about, uh, $17 in my PayPal right now, and that's gonna be, like, $10 because I'm, um, Paying for a paying for a lay, uh, paying for the the thumbnail uh, template for for this uh, series. So yeah, I know I shouldn't be really talking about like my money too much. I mean it's not. I don't know. That's just the first thing that came to mind because my people might be wondering why this doesn't have a layout and Mario Kart 7 does, and that that's basically the reason why. It's just I wanna I really want to start being more uh, conservative with my money. You know I really I'm one of those people who really does not like to spend money. In all honesty. So, uh, I only, I only usually buy stuff when I really, really want it. Okay, but let's just grab all the third star medal. I'm gonna get all the star medals. Uh, I'm gonna, or at least I'm gonna try to. And I don't know if I'm gonna do special worlds or not, because there are, uh, eight special worlds in this game. But, if, if enough people want me to do the special worlds, then I will do them. But if not a lot of people want me to do the special worlds, then I'm just gonna do the first eight. You know? Because this game is kind of short, I'm just deciding to do it because this game and uh, Mario Kart 8 are both going to take like eight parts each. That's why I wanted to do, that's why I wanted to even do this game as a side project so I wouldn't be uploading a daily, uploading Mario Kart 8 daily and it'd be done in like a week, you know. Just make, just make uploads like a little bit longer so I don't have to keep thinking of games and stuff like that. Because it's hard, you know. Sometimes it's hard to think of games because I want to. I want to stick to like short Mario games from now on. You know that's why I'm putting. That's why I put Thousand Year Door on hold because it's one of the longest Mario games. It's re very, re very, very long Mario game. You know all all Mario RPGs are really, really long. You know, especially the Mar. I feel like the Mario and Luigi ones are definitely the longest. Those are long as hell. You know, like Dream Team is ridiculous. You know, I. You know, you know what's kind of crazy. 
I got Dream Team on release date and I still haven't beat it. Because the way with that game is you have to collect all the pillow people in order to get the final bros attack. And the pillow people are really, really hard to find because there's like 52 of them scattered around the game. And I was just gonna pick one day to watch like game explain videos on where these guys are actually located. And I've just been too lazy to fucking watch watch videos on where to find them, so I have yet to finish them. I'm on the, the final area right now, and I still have yet to finish it. And I got it when it came out in August, it, you know? It's crazy. Oh yeah, um, another thing. It's actually a Star Wars day. I actually uh, just just remembered that. Today is actually Star Wars Day, so if there's any of you uh, Star Wars fans out there, uh, happy Star Wars Day. I'm not too big of a fan of Star Wars, not gonna lie. I liked it a lot in my early elementary school days, but I don't know. Not not too big of a fan fan of it now. I don't I really... I'm not too, like, familiar with the series. I know, like, Jabba the Hutt and shit like that, and uh, Luke Skywalker and the clones, and Anakin is Darth Vader and all that, but I'm not... Not too familiar. But uh, I'm actually gonna- I might as well show this off. I'm gonna do the one-up trick right here. Damn it. Nope. Nope. I fucked. I fucked. I fucked. I fucked. I fucked. I fucked. You know what? Let me see if I can do it right here. Nope. The, the one-up trick. You can do it with uh, this Koopa shell right here. If I lined it up correctly. And you could get a crown, crown, crown lives. There's, lately in all the 3D Mario games, there's been the, there's been the life trick like that. And... A lot of people like to take advantage of it, and it's in usually in the world. It's in the world one two of this game, and in three D world, which is kind of funny that they put it both of them in one two. But I don't know. Maybe there's other uh, one up tricks and other levels that I don't know about. But yeah, was gonna do it, but I fucked up. Whatever. Not that big of a deal. This this game really is not that difficult anyway. I think when I first got it, the only level I actually had problems with was, um, the World Crown Dash Crown, the final, like, true test level. Because I wasn't too familiar with it, and it took me- it took me a good amount of tries, but then after I beat it with Mario, I was able to just go through it. Like, I think I beat it second try with Luigi. It was crazy, but yeah, spoiler alert, you can get Luigi in this game. <laughs> but not for a while. That's- that's why I'm considering doing the special worlds, because you actually are able to get Luigi in the special worlds. That's- that's when he's unlockable. That That's kind of why I want to do the Special Worlds a little bit, because that's... You can't use Luigi until you beat Special World 1, you know? And it'd be like, oh, you could just do uh, Special World 1 just to use Luigi, but I mean, that'd be dumb as hell if I only did one Special World. That'd just be... No. That's that's stupid. But yeah, they got these uh, little mystery box uh, levels sometimes throughout the, uh, throughout the worlds where you can uh, get some extra star medals if you're like short one because there are some levels where you need star medals to keep progressing like the next level right there because it's a black question mark block but 1-3 here we go i really hope i don't miss any star medals honestly i'm gonna try to get every single star medal without missing a single one in world one because it's pretty it's pretty fucking easy you know i don't want to have to look it up or just trying to manually find it, just searching the level and shit and having to cut back, you know, it'd just be easier if I was able to find it first try, but boom. Okay. Okay, I wanna see if I can get Starman. Damn it. I mean Tanuki's good, but we didn't get to show off a uh, star yet, so I kinda wanted to get star. And I'm pretty sure I, I forget what this is. This just might be a bonus room. Oh wait, fuck, fuck, fuck. Boom, and just spam B, spam B, spam B, 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 ah. Shit, I'm gonna get the carpal tunnel. Oh, can I get a one-up? Oh, 97. Damn it. You know what, let me kill the bitty buds. I love bitty buds. They're my favorite fucking enemies, dude. I love bitty buds. <laughs> Boom. Bitty buds are great because you can get easy one-ups from them. Kind of a shame that I lost my tanuki, though. But, uh, yeah, also to clarify, I'm gonna be doing this uh, world by world because I said this is gonna take eight parts because... This, this really doesn't take that long. These actually might be quicker than, um, 2D Mario games, or, or the, the levels in 2D Mario games. Maybe just as fast, legit. Even though this is a 3D Mario game, there's not that much exploring to do. Maybe slightly more than a 2D game, so that's why I'm gonna be doing it world by world. Because if I, even if, when I do it world by world, probably a rough estimate uh, each part would take maybe about 25 minutes or so, at most. Maybe the harder world, when it gets a little bit harder, might take more, but yeah. Fuck, I don't know how I'm gonna get that thing. Hold on. Maybe I can... Okay. I think I'm gonna need to 
do this. I'm gonna need a jump on that cloud. Yeah! That was fucking close as hell. Da -na -na -na. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that. I'm gonna go for left and then wait for it to come back. I, I can't believe I'm actually timing this because they, they want. I think they want you to have Tanuki for this section. Oh shit! They want you to have Tanuki for this section because of that. That was so fucking close. No, I can't. Oh, thank God! I was gonna say if I really cannot make that jump, that would have been that would be so fucked. Okay, this is the home stretch right here. So let's try to get the top of the gold pole. The controls are like really weird in this game. They're like oddly tight. I, are you? Oh, God, Mario, Mario, why would you have to over jump it? If I'm gonna be doing the special worlds, I need to get to the top of the goal pole because that's that's one of the factors that you need to do in order to unlock the final level in this game. You need to get to the top of the goal pole with every single every every single level and beat every single level of Mario and Luigi. It's fucking crazy. They make you do a lot. I think it's even crazier with Mario 3D World. You have to do it with all five of the characters and get to the top of the goal pole to unlock the crown for that. It's nuts. Okay. Well, they only, we only need three star rolls for that. Um, we can go back here because we got a street pass tag, but... You know what? I guess I can show it off. See what this guy... Because sometimes the street pass tags, they can um, give us, like, free items and shit. Yep, we got a boomerang. We got a boomerang mushroom. God damn. Or a boomerang a flower. And a one. Not even bad. If we, if we didn't get the street pass tag... We would not be able to even see the boomerang flower until World 5, because they don't even show it until World 5. That's pretty cool. <laughs> then we got a power-up like this this fucking early in the game. We get to show it off. But let's unlock this level right here, and then we can move on to the castle. See, I told you, this is really, really short. It's only like four or five levels per world, and then the castle, you know? That's why I like 3D World better, because there's like eight worlds in a castle, and the levels are... A lot more original. You know, with this, the only original power-up they added was, um, the boomerang suit, I think. I'm pretty sure Stone Tanuki was already in Mario 3. So I think this might have been the only power-up. This is... I think they added this just to make a little bit more diverse to add... They, I think they added this instead of the, um, hammer, hammer power-up to make it a little bit more diverse and creative, I guess, but... This might be a level where I actually legit might miss the uh, some of the star medals. Because I think I think there's one of them in here that's pretty tricky to find. But that, that first one, they just give to you. Okay, let's try to dodge these blocks. I'm gonna do a speedrun tactic right here. Ha! Fuck! <laughs> My God, it was right before the checkpoint too. God damn it! Uh. Yeah, I missed. There we go. Boom. Okay, I want to get Tanuki back. Tanuki is better for this level. Boomerang. Not so great. Boomerang really is not that useful with power. But it's only good in. I guess it's really only good in um enemy well enemy um heavy levels really you know because it's really good especially for killing like pokies and stuff like that or enemies that are far away from you that's that's really it tanuki is definitely the most op power up no not a stone tanuki when you get stone tanuki in um world s or um world sp special world one oh my god Tanu stone tanuki is so powerful because you can do the ground pound where you're completely invincible for like however long you want I think so it's a lot better can I get up here I feel like there's hold on can I I don't understand why would they add that there I feel like there's definitely supposed to be something up there but I, I don't know because it doesn't look like there's any like weird parts on the ground where I would need to ground pound in to maybe reveal something so I don't get it okay you're gonna want to grab the star metal and then instantly go back to the right since there's no um part that stops us. We, if we kept going left, we'd fall off, so. <laughs> Fucking piranha plane. Get the fuck out of here. Maybe if we actually had boomerang, we'd kill him. That's actually... Maybe I could've kept boomerang, because that's... It'd be actually useful for that little part. Okay, we got Tanook. And I think this is gonna be a bunch of coins again. Really? That's it? Wow. <laughs> God damn, I thought they were gonna... Give us more than that. I, don't, I think that might be the first time that I can remember where I've gotten everything in the bonus room. Okay, uh, we're gonna need to do this right here. Yep, there we go. I actually got it. Wait, are you kidding me? 
Why did... Okay, that's really odd. There we go. Okay. I, I was already on the left panel, but for some reason he was only going straight up. That, that one could be kind of weird to time, but I got it, thank you, no, nonetheless. Okay, we actually need to fucking use that one to get... to progress. Okay, let me zoom right. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's really weird. You have to, like, get it... You have to, uh, run into the geyser at a certain time, or you're not gonna get high enough. It's kind of weird. But these geysers automatically shoot us up. Whatever you do, do not jump on that section, or you're fucking dead. Do not jump on that shit. You will be royally fucked. Okay, let's see if I can make it over here. There we go. And we got all the star medals. So we've gotten every single star medal we can possibly get so far, except for the one in um, the castle level, which hopefully we can get all of those. Okay, can I actually get to the top of the goal pole? Yes, I didn't even need to use Tanuki. Tanuki helps a lot when it comes to getting to the top of the goal pole, though, because you can get a little bit higher and make a more precise jump. You know, I, I usually... So sometimes you don't need Tanuki. Sometimes ro uh, roll jumps can get you there, but sometimes they can't, so. And it's easier just to have Tanuki. But let me... I might as well show off uh, item shops. Even though I might not even get what they they give me unless it's another Tanuki. Welcome to Toad House. Here's a present. Okay. Okay, what you got? Eh, uh, yeah... I guess, I guess I can do Fire Flower for now. I got Tanuki in my inventory, so if it's, if Tanuki's gonna be more useful in, um, Bowser Castle, then I'll just switch over. Alright. Oh, shit. What the hell is that? Shit, the noise is scaring me outside. It sounds like a truck backing up, but it's also, but it, it sounds like it's coming from my headphones, because it's so close to me. I hope you guys can hear it. It's like, bump, 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 bump. I hate that shit. It's always like, oh, shit. <laughs> Legit, it's so close. I can hear it. It's not, it feels like a, a truck is going to be backing up into my house. That's probably my fucking neighbor, because my neighbor's like an 80-year-old um, widow, unfortunately. Yeah, she's unfortunately, she's a widow. And she is always has construction people at her house, because she always needs to get stuff done, because she's too old. Oh man, I love the the castle themes that they they use in this game, and I'm pretty sure they use the same exact castle theme in um 3D World, but slightly remixed maybe. Oh, that fucking sucks. I just lost Tanook. You know, let me just roll jump. There we go. Beaut. Wow. Oh no. Oh god, that was so close. I was gonna say they're really having these uh star medals out in the open or star coins. I don't know. They remind me. Of, they, I call them. Star, I'm saying star medals because they make the same. They make like a similar sound effect of collecting um comet medals from um Galaxy Two, but they have a star on them. So I'm just con kind of combining the two names. Okay, that's the real one up. If you can't tell which one is the real one, you have really bad eyesight. Even I can tell. I have like 2050 vision. Uh, as you can see over there, Toad is captured. Going back to the old roots of Mario, where the Toad is being fucking held hostage and shit. Okay, we're actually about to, um, go against Bowser, though, so I'm gonna switch over to my Fire Flower, just to be on the safe side. Even though this is the first Bowser fight, I have not played this game in a long-ass time, so yeah. And there he is. Look at that, he's got the fucking Tanuki tail. It's pretty fucking crazy. I'm trying to do a roll jump there, but failed. Let me try again. Why is he? Okay. There we go. He kept shooting fireballs for some reason. I don't get it. Uh, I don't know if I can act- Can I actually shoot fireballs at him and they'll affect him? Nope. Fireballs don't do shit. You just have to get around them. This is ba It's basically just like the old classic Bowser fights. But this time, um, it's 3D. You know, but this time apparently you can't shoot fireballs at him, so you can only go under him. That kind of sucks. And there we go. Really easy. Uh, when he jumps around like that, eventually later in the game, he'll be able to, uh, shoot shockwaves. Oh, is that not... I guess that wasn't the real Bowser. Yeah, they really are going back to the uh, old Mario roots where if you kill him, it's just a Goomba. <laughs> and that time it, it popped out of Tanuki as well. It's pretty funny. Wow, they actually gave us a clock. Yeah, they usually give us clocks after every castle because they expect you to take a while, but... Oh, come on. He, he did it again. He did it again. He did the, the fireball thing when I tried to do a roll jump. That's ass. No! Wow, I was off. I was off. I thought this was going to take at least 25 minutes. This took only 19. 
My god, and I got everything too. I got all the star medals, see? This game is pretty goddamn short for a 3D Mario game, even though some people don't even consider it a true 3D Mario game just due to the fact that it has it plays like a 2D Mario game, it's just in 3D. I still kind of, I still consider it a 3D Mario game. Like, I consider 3D World a Mario game. I consider both of them, you know? Oh, there's Bowser sending this Goomba fleet. Oh, Lord. Ah! I love that. He just scuttles in midair and he's like, oh! All right. Now we're on to World 2, which is sort of a uh, deserty yellow environment. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching, though. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. Subscribe to be updated on future uploads. And next time on Let's Play Super Mario 3D Land, we're going to be completing World 2. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Take care. Bye.